Is situational leadership still valid for new managers? I'm Jasun Okrahor of Scatterwork. And I'm looking at a model that's been around for a long while. When we move into a new role, taking over an existing team, we assume that everyone is experienced. That means that we give them low support and low direction, just let them get on with the work. But if that doesn't work enough, then we can change our style and give higher support to individuals, hopefully bit by bit moving them towards the experience level. Now, if that doesn't work, we can decide to be more directive. So we're telling people what to do, but still giving them high support. And then in a, a case where somebody is a complete beginner, we can just tell them what to do, give them no support, please just do the work. Now, the advantage of that is that we find people where they are. We might go two or three steps back on that system uh, before we find where each individual is. And of course, we treat everyone differently depending on who they are. And then with a bit of luck, they will work their way up to the experienced quadrant. But it takes time. Now, another approach is that we start at the other end. And the big disadvantage of this is that if somebody is not a beginner, they get annoyed immediately and then you've lost them until you move out of that job. So the question I'm asking, is this approach still valid? Because it was formulated in a time when there were not so many generations working at the same time as there are now. And uh, this approach was identified before the existence of, for example, social media and the internet. And of course, these days we're in contact with people around the world who come from many different cultures and have many different styles of interaction. So it may be that the uh, model that was laid down some time back is no longer valid. So I hope that this video will have at least stimulated your thoughts in that area. Thanks very much.